Hawaii Kilauea Volcano, magnitude 3.5 earthquake, just struck. This is after the strong swarms that we've had. 335 earthquakes this past month. Does that mean that we're getting ready for a new eruption in Kilauea? The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports 335 earthquakes this past month. The latest one just now struck 3.5 magnitude in uh, just south of Kilauea, Puo Crater on the East Rift Zone, 4.4 miles depth. That's about a 7.1 kilometer depth. As we know, the depths of the volcano earthquakes, as we can see here, the oceanic crust starts about just about at that depth. So 7.1 kilometers is just about, right as you can see here on the left-hand side, oceanic crust depth. We've also been seeing a deformation and a rise rising of the surface, meaning that there is a magma concentration and influx in that area. As we know, Kilauea is right south of Mauna Loa, the second biggest volcano in the world, the biggest being the Massif of South Africa, the underwater volcano. And Kilauea has stopped erupting last year, around August. They said it was a pause. It's, it's supposed to be extremely eruptive. And we've also now had a new activity in that they found water in the bottom of Helimamau or Helimaumau crater. Water meaning that meaning that they don't the geologists don't know why it has accumulated there, where it's coming from. Of course, they have said that the elevation of the bottom of the crater was lower than some of the uh, water holes in uh, various nearby land plots. And they don't know exactly why. Here we are again. They started with one water pond and, it's, uh, and then grew to three and even more. And these, of course, are very hot areas of water. They assume it's water because it's shiny, liquidy. So they'll call it water until they are proven wrong. And in that, in that case, it's a very unusual thing to see in the bottom of a volcanic crater. Let's go and see what's happening with the deformation and with the seismic activity in Kilauea.
This is uh, 2008. Amazing. Explosive eruptions can occur when magma column drops below water table. Ground water interacts with hot rocks. Steam pressure builds and explodes. This is why it's uh, the geologists claim that they reminded us that Kilauea is an explosive volcano because of the water now in the crater of Helemaumau. They're expecting if anything happens, it will be explosive because of the water. Explosive eruptions can occur when magma column drops below the water table. That's why we have the water coming in. The water table in other areas, in the wells around the area of Halemaumu, are at higher levels than the crater. That way, that's why the water is somehow seeping in from cracks and fissures and fault lines, and it's filling in the crater. So the groundwater interacts with the hot rock, steam pressure builds and then explodes. That's what's happening. It could be happening. And this is where it was last year before eruption. It's dropping, it dropped. Water is filling in. At Kilauea, when the lava column drops below the water table, groundwater may come into contact with the magma or hot rocks, causing violent steam explosions. You think maybe it'll turn into a geyser? I don't know. Caldera collapsed 2,200 years ago, ushered in 1,200 years of explosive eruptions. Since Kilauea surface is dominantly covered by young deposits, only the eruption record of the past 2,500 years is suitably well known. Effusive lava flows were the norm until about 2,500 years ago when the powers caldera formed, precursor to the present day summit caldera. Numerous explosions, explosive eruptions lasted for a period of about 1,200 years, producing the Ubeka Huna Tefra between 850-950 AD, the most powerful explosive eruption known to have occurred from Kilauea, sent rocks weighing about 10 pounds at least three miles from the summit, and golf ball sized rocks fell to the coast 11 miles away. So we'll see what happens. We have to keep an eye out on this because of the tremendous change of the water filling Halemaumau, Halemaumau crater. I'm pronouncing it both ways because I've heard the US GS uh, geologist pronouncing it both ways. If you know which is the proper way to pronounce it, please let me know. I'll leave links below for you for this. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.